I mean, hello and welcome to... El Pack the Rings, Volume 94! Today we're talking about the Terrible as the Dawn, a Shadow Circuit mini-album? EP, probably? Uh, that was released on November 4th of 2017, although I think... I feel like the band camp says October 2nd, 2017, so I'm pretty sure the physicals came about a month after the the digital came out. This is in the lost era of Zegma Beach, right when I had moved to New Zealand. Uh, so although we did 60 copies, I think we took 50 and gave 10 to the band, uh, we didn't sell that many of them despite it being a very good release. And, I mean, going back now and listening to it, it's like, this is exactly kind of the kind of stuff that we still release, so um, strongly recommend going back and checking this out. So the history, blah, blah, blah. the history behind this one is, I think they sent me their stuff for Open Mind Saturated Brain, and their previous EP, I think it was a self-title. No, it was called Weak. Uh, I had a song called Stain, <laughs> Stains. And uh, th that track, it was just amazing. And the rest of the album, or the EP from before, I felt was like a kind of unbalanced. Uh, they think they were still trying to like figure things out. Um, but when they sent me the stuff for the new one, uh, I was like, wow, this is amazing. Uh, backtrack a little more. Um, in between those two releases, they came to ZBR Fest 2017 uh, and played the pre-show day that was on... Friday, and uh, unfortunately had to compete with the daughter show that was happening uh, in the same city of Toronto. So, not many people came to that show, but uh, I'm going to put a video at the tail end of this uh, for the song Stains, which is from the previous EP. Okay, so uh, after they played ZBR Fest, the band sent me the album... I feel like it was like right when I got to New Zealand because I remember being in my new place and like checking it out um, and I'm pretty sure they wanted to do vinyl and I was like I'm not doing very well with like the moving and stuff and just like not a good idea for me so we just did the 60 tapes um, they're on this cream color with a sticker so um, it's a little confusing uh, it looks like on Discogs that it's a co-release, but this isn't actually a co-release. What happened was Three Nines was a, uh, like a tape, uh, what was Dylan, uh, who used to play in Life in Vacuum, who, and who also used to play in Karloff. Uh, they were doing, uh, duplication and, I don't think they were doing the duplication part. Maybe they were, I don't know. But they were definitely doing, like, the tape, like the, like the tape decorating and stuff like that. So, I just paid them to do it for me. Uh, while I was in New Zealand, and I remember Nate from No Funeral kind of like uh, figured out the logistics of all of that. I remember getting my copies, I would assume, probably in November uh, in New Zealand. So, yeah, so that's the thing there. What does it sound like? Uh, it sounds kind of like it sounds like some Richmond, Virginia stuff. Like, there's some Ostraka, Infant Island in there, uh, Gift from God, and um, maybe it was just because I was in New Zealand, but it sounds kind of like hedge, hedge Fund Trader to me. Uh, much longer songs. Songs are generally five to ten minutes. Uh, the second track is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's, I think it's Dull and Grey. Um, just, pff, if I ever show anyone this band, I'm like, here's the song that you should listen to, because it's amazing. And the closer is ten minutes. Um, yeah, you should really check it out. It's it's very good. Uh, the first song was good, but I, out of the four, it's the least good. Uh, so I would just go from track two. Track two is it's killer. And they were amazing live, super nice. And I just checked their Facebook, and they are still a band. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Hopefully we'll see something in 2022. They're a two-piece, I should mention that. Uh, the guitarist, vocalist, and uh, the drummer... Vocalist. Um, one of them has a higher pitch, like shriek, and one of them has a lower guttural thing going on. Uh, really, really good. Uh, you know, live video worth the check. Uh, the EP I've got it for free on 
uh, Bandcamp now. So pick it up. There's no more tapes uh, left. Just uh, just their personal copies of everybody. And uh, I think I think the next oh the next five out past the rings are going to be the string of protest the hero. Uh, sets that we did because it's not on Bandcamp, so you probably don't even know we released it. Uh, we didn't sell too many despite, um, you know, Protest the Hero, so uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to dress up for the for Halloween, you know, because it's Halloween, so um, just give me a second for uh, my costume this year was Space Wolf. Without even trying to, uh, I have brought in the New Zealand because this shirt was purchased in New Zealand. Alright, wish I had my comb here to comb my beard and stuff into this thing. Alright, oh, don't I look amazing. Alright, sweet, okay. Alright, so, Space Wolf. Three, two, one, blast off! Three, <laughs> three two, one, Blast off! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Three, two, one, blast off! <gasps> Shit. <All right. laughs>